Yo, what the guys? What's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. And the foot birthday is here. And so far, so good. We have weekly objectives to grind towards during the week. Three free cards. So that's all going to be used towards Ronaldinho. We've got icons upon icons that are coming. A full foot birthday squad that I want to speak about. Those that I believe are actually worth it. And to start off today's video, we have that free Ultimate Pack. This is loyalty. So depending on how many days you logged in, you would have had like a mega pack, a rare mega pack, 50k or whatever. We got an ultimate. And usually my luck with these are pretty bad. But we went and got ourselves a Martial off the market that I bought because my pack luck's trash. Um, I didn't get anything. I got McGinn, an inform, and then everything else is just discard value um okay i'll take that thanks ea someone did say though what would be nice is if they gave you one random foot birthday card you know maybe an spc that's going to cost little to no cost to actually complete and then you get one random foot birthday card how high would that be if you are opening up bail salah you know um that would be just sweet but boys we made some big team changes let me tell you most of this stuff you wouldn't have even seen and i've got spcs to go and do i want to break down the uh, foot birthday squad as well and just give you some advice so with cancella we bought him a couple of days ago for 130,000. sold him on for 135 did enjoy him but he just can't really get into the team on full chemistry promise this was yesterday's purchase i am four and one in the weekend league and i wasn't playing so good so i decided to stop before it was a terrible start so i need to build up on that today promise i would say his acceleration is okay but i would like it if he felt a little bit quicker i know it sounds weird but there's just something about him that he doesn't have that burst like a lot of other players and, and again he has 94 pace and 92 acceleration it could have been the gameplay though keep that in mind uh, his finishing was good and when i was timing the shots wonderful for. his playmaking was fine his dribbling on the ball was decent and i just liked the way he fell the thing is though he went missing and it was hard to get him involved when he was introduced though i thought it was a good card and for the price it isn't that bad i think he's going to drop though to maybe 130 150 and i think you guys will enjoy using him up at meccano 295 he's gone richardson's price range got adjusted so we sold him for 53,000. Ed Air, i know you wouldn't have seen this i tried to use him as a cdm and it was okay but i've gone back to the beast remember who we were using last week Weekend that was just amazing for me and Ray Chan. I know even with the lack of pace, I felt like I was getting more from him uh, than I did uh, Militeo. So with these informs as well, they came from the weekly packs that we opened. Edison, 17,500 at Marsteel that I sold for 6,000. And then I was going through a club clear out. We've done another one, boys. It's like every single week, I'm just selling everything on just so I could purchase uh, the players that I wanted to bring in. Because we have gone and purchased Marsteel, you know. Uh, I, I, I like the look of him and I wanted to bring him back to the RTG. We've also got another foot birthday card. But before we go over that... Let's go and do this SBC and see what else is available. So day one of foot birthday, we did see uh, the icon, Steven Gerrard. And I know for myself, it's not really one of those desirable players and I don't want to go for him. I know that some of you will unlock him. Those that are Liverpool fans or just fans of English players in general. But that was for foot 09, the start. Foot 10, R10. Today, is he going to come out? If he does, then you know, like I said, I'm going to be selling on possibly Vieira and stuff like that just to be able to afford him. I hope he does during this promo. Come on, fingers crossed, boys. But another player that was released as an untradeable, and it was Timo Werner. This SBC is going to cost you around 300 to 350,000, which isn't breaking the bank. But when I looked at his in game stats, I love it. I think his shooting, his pace, his dribbling, the stamina, the jumping as well. So if you play him maybe as a right attacking mid in a 4 2 3 1, think it back post he's going to be dangerous in the air. The problem is the lack of skills. So you're kind of restricted if you want to play him on the wing, but then if you play him as a striker, then I don't think it's going to be as bad, right? I do like the look of him. And if you've ever used like maybe one of the first informs or his non-inform at the start of the game, he's always been broken in a good way. So I think that a lot of you will really enjoy that card, but let's do this SBC. It's foot 09 for a mega pack, very cheap. I did go on the market and purchase every single one of these cards, by the way. And I don't know how much it costs me. You guys can work that out. Anyway, Mega Pack, what are we going to get? 
Um, nothing. Maybe. Well, we'll see. Let's go and open it. I nearly forgot. David Villa flashback. He was also released yesterday, and I have played four to five games on the main account with him. His acceleration could be a little bit better. Uh, once again and i think his finishing though is very nice he's got the five star weak foot the four star skills a little bit weak and although he has low agility and low balance i would say that his overall control of the ball is quite nice just to be able to roll the man uh play it off or try and get that shot out he's a good card for 150 to 170 thousand with packs back it's good it's affordable and i think some of you will enjoy using him as well but let's open this mega pack boys what are we gonna get anything special no <laughs> to no to no surprise my pack luck maybe during the Ronaldinho SBC when we open up like 50k packs 100k packs you never know and if he does come out during the foot birthday promo even better because then we have a full foot birthday squad to pack and you, ne you never know we might get super lucky picture this right doing Ronaldinho and hitting a Gareth Bale to pay for the SBC. That would be a dream come true, man. The biggest clutch of FIFA 19 uh, Ultimate RTG that would be. But we're not, that's just in dream, we're in dreamland right now. But if that did happen though, oh, I'd end up crying. It would just be too emotional. Uh, that is dreadful. We've got, oh, we didn't even get any fitness cards. No, maybe they're hiding here. No, we didn't even get any fitness. Damn, okay, well, that sucks so just like that carnival promo ea have released some weekly objective cards for us to grind towards which is amazing and it allows us to get an 89 an 88 and an 87 for SBCs. but with this ibrahimovic they released him as a center back but they haven't really balanced out his card so you can use him in that position which just doesn't really make sense to me they've given him something like 97 stand tackle but then the interceptions are 50 like, what are you going to do with that? Um, so maybe you could just use him as an impact sub to be brought off the bench. But his stats are nowhere near the level of that flashback version. But it's an 89 rated card, right? So you're having to use 11 MLS players. Uh, you're not allowed to bring in flashbacks icons. So that's going to be a grind, right? So we'll do that during the week. We've got Naldo. And I checked out his stats as well. And I just wouldn't want to play him as a CDM because of the lack of agility. Uh, I don't think the jumping is any good with Naldo. Now, though he's tall though but it just doesn't really make me want to use him so he'd be put into an sbc and then javinio his stats he, he's fun he's got like 99 stamina um i would definitely use him as an impact sub though just coming off the bench uh playmaking maybe his finishing is good so i'll try javinio to see if he's worth it but these two 100 are going to be used um in that r10 sbc but boys we've got a new team and it looks so colorful. You ready? Let's go and have a look. Three, two, one, boom. There it is. Amazing. Look at it. So much color. And I have brought in two foot birthday cards. The first one is going to be this man, Pavard. 99,000 coins, right? And I know I've played 10 games, but I haven't really. I was challenging the team of the week just to get that loyalty bonus. So now he's on 7 chem and I haven't used him at all. Six foot one, medium, medium work rates. His in game stats, that's nice. The acceleration, the sprint speed, amazing. The jumping, 95. The stamina is great. The uh, strength, the stand tackle, marking, interceptions. Uh, dribbling is very, very good. And as he is, well, a right back. Well, no, he was a center back. But I swear he was a right back on FIFA 18. I don't know where this guy plays. Anyway, I want to use him as a center back with those kind of dribbling stats. And then if I ever need to like bring him up into the midfield, that could be awesome, right? I think he could play as a really good CDM. He just looks like Gwendouzi and he's faster than Gwendouzi. But then on the ball, Gwendouzi beats him. But I think he's going to play well for us even on seven chemistry. So I've gone back to Lala, Pavard, Varane, Alexandro, and then the trusty Ariola in goal. But in the attack, boys, the biggest signing uh, out of the foot birthday cards for me is Martial. 355,000 coins. Haven't used him. I know that he has only a three star weak foot and his stats for this price, um, maybe it's not worth it. But as it is foot birthday and I want to enjoy the series and also enjoy this promo 
I wanted to bring him in. I know that some of you will be interested in um, wanting to know how good he is in case you want to go and purchase him for yourself. So the physical stats are quite good and the stamina isn't bad because he has medium, medium work rates. And this allows me to use Mbappe as a left attacking mid now and try and get those crosses back post. His dribbling stats, I think that uh, they're going to be fine. And his shooting, like really good finishing. The shot power is there. I hope that he plays well. And if it's anything to go by, like FIFA 18, he had so many traits and specialities. So I think he's going to perform. Then we've got Emre Chan back alongside Patrick Vieira. I really like him. I don't know why he's so good for me, but I do like him. And then these guys here are the ones that I wanted to highlight because I think they're worth it. Griezmann has himself a ridiculous card. The stamina is maxed out now, pretty much. Uh, he has the jumping, uh, the heading accuracy. Uh, where would you play him? Right attacking mid, middle cam, you know, uh, the finishing 97, the dribbling stats, he's going to have that ultimate control over the ball. I love him. And for his price, 850, 900,000, very good. And Salah, although he's been released as a left back, which you wouldn't really want to play in there, some people will. But because of his interceptions, heading accuracy, stand tackle, and all of that that's been given a nice upgrade, if you were to use him in the attack, like closing down your opponent, you know, that would be really handy. So that's why I think he's worth it. Then you've got Carl Walker that I bought on the main account. I've tried him in a few games, and he feels pretty decent, to be fair. So I think for, I think I bought him for like 310000 That's not a bad price for a Carl Walker. I thought it was going to be more. Then you have Leroy Sané was really enjoying his Champions League version the other day. So I think this one is just going to be outstanding. Once again, doesn't have the weak foot, but he's got the skills. And I think he could play multiple positions, even as a striker, you know, striker, right attacking mid, uh, middle cam, anywhere. And then you have David Alaba. And I'd love to get this guy in a left center mid position, just up and down the pitch because he has really good stamina, the jumping, the interceptions, well balanced and i've also bought him on the main account and i like the feel of him so far i was using him as a cdm it worked but i think he needs to be played as a centre mid and another one that came out was uh, marcelo so you could get away with using him as a wide centre mid as well there's just so much variety and i think this is a good promo some people are a little bit disappointed with the cards but if you uh, think outside the box and look to build a team with these players and then change everything up in game you can get a lot more out of them but this is the team, boys, that we're going to be using in the weekend league. We are 4-1. and one. Not a good start. We're going to build up on that today. We need to focus on Pavard and Martial. Are they really good enough for this side? Let's go. So for the first game, we're going to be facing that red Mbappe. Oh, no. David Luiz in there. CR7. I think my cold is starting to clear up a little bit more. Hopefully, you can understand what I'm saying. And my energy is starting to come back. But my God, hold on a minute. No way. What the hell is up with this best card? No, 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 no. Lala, you get that ball out. Oh, go on, Mbappe. Find Marcia. Go on, Marcia. Oh, that pass. What? Was that a save? Find him, find him, find him in space. Yes. Oh. No. Ronaldo's here. Keeper. Oh, Pavard, though. That's twice now that he's actually made a really good well, interception with his head. That's okay. Neymar. Little under power pass. That ball though. Am I offside? Yes, I am. Why? A few half chances in this game. And nil nil though. This man has 76% pass accuracy. And I still haven't found a way through. The overall speed of the game, though, is quite slow. And I know that they dropped a patch. So I wonder if that's actually played about with it. Now with Marcel as a left attacking mid, let's see if I can get things going. On offside again. Two offside goals in this match. So, Mbappe. Nah, I delayed it. Oh, no, I have not scored another offside goal oh that's a good take oh no if i'm offside i'm not sterling go on sterling boom mbappe boom finish <laughs> no way oh christ you can't write this stuff what a finish from Marcia. Oh, he slipped. I feel like right now that I've got a bit of momentum. Then again, he's probably changed some stuff up. Marcial, there it is. 
Dave, you go, and that's enough for him to quit the game. I should have done that before extra time, man. I do think, though, for the next game, I'm going to be playing Martial in that position. Uh, left attack in mid, and then having Mbappe as the striker. Pavard in that match, very good. He won the ball uh, consistently in the air, and the stand tackles were fine. For him being on seven chemistry as well. Game two, uh, and these aren't easy, man. De Rossi flashback. CR7 again. Damn. Martial through ball. Okay, the vision was there. Hazard. Across goal. I need to be doing low drivens. I've like completely... Well, <laughs> that was a nice goal. I've completely forgotten the low driven. Three times pressing start. He's gone. The thing is though, Martial, I'm not really seeing what he's offering for 350,000. I think his acceleration is underwhelming. His finishing, well, he scored the goal in, in the last game, but it's that three-star weak foot, which is a little bit of an issue, as well as not being that great on the ball. He's got a bit of strength though. Third and final game. And that isn't as good as the last two teams. That's a weird mixture of players, actually. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, that's a good ball. Yo, yo, through, through, through. Mbappe. There we go. Broken at the deadlock. Finally. Go on. Mbappe through. Oh, come on. That's got to be a goal. Surely. That's game. Is it? 2 0 enough? Nah, he still wants him to play. Four time, and there was no need to really play that second half. I think he tried to change his tactics, but he couldn't really get anything going. And then in the attack, it was dead. So the biggest disappointment of FIFA 19, Martial. Foot birthday, Martial. I'm not kidding. 355,000 coins. I know he scored the two goals and received one assist in three games. But my God, is this card bad. It feels like a regular version of Martial that I wasn't really a big fan of at the start of the game. That's why no one uses him. And then I try this for birthday card and his acceleration sprint speed, underwhelming. His shooting stats, well, he's got a three-star weak foot, so it's a little, little tricky. Uh, passing is average. Uh, the way he falls on the ball is heavy. And his strength is good, right? So he's got a bit of strength about him. He's just average, and for 355,000, hell no, is he going to stay around? I'm going to get rid of him. Um, 355,000, yeah, I think it's sold for around about that. But then what do I do with the coins, right? So I'll be back up to, like, um, pushing 400,000, and I don't know who I want to bring in. I was thinking Human Son, but then he's been released as a right winger, and I can't bring him in. I've got too many, like, wingers as it is. So if I take out Martial, who would you replace in that striker position. I guess it's gonna to have to be someone from the Premier League. Um, yeah, give me some advice in the comment section, but I tell you who is good, uh, Pavard. I really enjoyed him, man. So again, three games played uh, in the air. He's difficult to beat because he's six foot one. He's got 95 jump in. His stand tackles were quite nice and his strength. Um, I think he's quite stocky in game, uh, which is probably helping him out. I like him, and for 99,000 coins, yes, I'm going to keep him in the starting 11, but that striker position at Martial, he's got to go. Like, I tried him as a striker, and it didn't really feel good because he can't turn properly. Then left attack in mid, he wasn't doing anything. So we will sell him. Uh, we just got to figure out who we're going to be bringing in in that position. So they've got to be playing as a striker or as a left attack in mid. Let me know, but thank you very much for watching, boys. Please do leave a like, and I will see you on the next one and maybe the next one it would be an r10 sbc we'll see thank you very much for watching take it easy team out peace